Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look here at fixing the sclera, the white part of the eye. So in this image here, you can see there's a lot of blood vessels over here. This side even, there seems to be some damage to it there. And there's some dark areas as well, which seem uneven. So what we can do with this is if there's a number of different methods. I can do some of the things in different videos so that this one doesn't just get extremely long. So this one here, I can use the basic painting method. So the first thing to do is to add a pixel layer, which is at the top here. Then if we just try different things here, if I take the clone brush here, I'm going to need to say to go to current layer and below so that I can clone to this. So I can alt click somewhere here and paint in there and start saying start painting away the veins. One of the things to watch here is whether I got the aligned bots box checked. If I click on aligned, then I alt click somewhere to take a source. And I put when I paint it, that source stops stops at the end. That little red cross, this a little black cross, stays where it was. So I paint there and it stops again. So I can keep painting here, but it's easy to start hitting the edge. One of the things you can do with that is if I take the aligned off, I'll just leave it, I'll click somewhere in the middle and it's going to paint here. But what I'm going to do there is as I go further into the darker areas, I'm still painting from a fairly light area. Oops. And I end up overdoing things and saying, you know, whoops, etc. So what another way to do this is rather than use that one is to use one of the healing ones. So in fact here, if I use the healing brush tool, it's very similar, but it's a bit more intelligent. So if I alt click there, now when I paint it, it still can snaps back here because I've got a line is not set. Current layer and below is set. But if I paint here, it doesn't, it takes, pays attention to what's already there. And so it will leave, oops, Control Z to undo if you overshoot it. And you can see here I'm doing lots and lots of little steps. Though sometimes here it looks like it's not going to be too big. Maybe if I do a little bit bigger there, sometimes it'll it'll be a bit more intelligent. Sometimes bigger ones work. You have to play with it. You can see away that's not too bad there. So if I go to the other side now. It's a little trick here. So alt click in a useful area there and make the brush a bit bigger. And sort of try to painting into these areas here and get a more consistent undo a bit there. I got up into the blue. Don't want blue to appear in here. So here then I'm just painting away the white areas but with a bit of intelligence as supplied by the healing brush. Just little bits at a time. See that broken area there? See it's paying attention to the luminosity of the area. So you're getting it's not too much of a problem. See lots and lots of little ones. And you can see we're actually gradually just making it a little bit better. If necessary you can move the alt click to move the little X. But it seems to be pretty intelligent anyway. So that's, there you go, that's a fairly quick way of doing it. You see there's a little bit of pink in there but I don't think that harms. And if you zoom outwards here then you can see what it looks like, like it might be in, a, in an image. And if I turn this off to see the original, turn that on again, maybe zoom in a bit for to see that. Let's do a control zero. So before and after, before and after. So that's a very quick and easy way of doing that fix. So on a, on a new layer, using the healing brush, little strokes at a time, but healing brush rather than the clone brush. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.